Hey everyone, it's your girl Manavia. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super glad that I'm able to create this natural gel overlay look for you guys. Keep watching. So I brought my homegirl in and I'm just going to show you guys how I created this nice look on her. You know, so right now we have a natural nail that's right here and we're going to create this look. Oh my gosh, look at this fabulous nail that I've created here on this natural nail. So we're definitely going to create this together. I'm going to start off by filing her nail. So we're doing a square rounded shape. And right now I'm just like, you know, turning her hand in front of me so I can actually see the shape of her finger. And normally when the finger is going at like a different angle, you guys have to like follow that angle and realize that, oh no, I need to file more on the opposite side, not on that side. So pay attention to what you're actually filing and take a closer look at your finger and making sure that you're going at the proper angle as the nail is going to be straight from the angle of the finger. So if it's going that way, you have to focus more on the right side of the nail to make sure that it is even. And right here, I'm actually just making sure that both sides are even and one is not slanted by on the other side and one is on the other side. And don't be afraid to go back and forth like this if you have to because then it's going to create that symmetry and straight look as a square nail. And then we're going to also round off the edges to make sure that it's nicely rounded everywhere. And this is how we create a square rounded nail. So now I'm going to turn her pen back over and uh, oh wow look at that, the shape is perfect. So now I'm going to start pushing back her cuticles and yeah there you go. You want to push back all that dust and debris and push everything back so that you know you don't see anything that is supposed to be on the nail. You just like clean it up and you just push it back and then we're going to cut it. We're gonna cut them cuticles because them cuticles be in the way sometimes and we just don't need them all the time you know especially when you're creating a gel set on the natural nail all right so we're gonna go in with our sanding bit the fine sanding bit and we're gonna put it on a level three so we're gonna go around the cuticle and while we're going around the cuticle, we're actually pushing back the cuticle as we are going around the cuticle and we can go maximum two times. This is also going to prevent lifting to the nail. And then we're going to go a little bit on the natural nail, really just a tiny bit. We're only removing the shine to the natural nail. We're not trying to damage the nail. We want the nail to stay nice and healthy. And then right after this, we're going to brush the nail. And then right after brushing the nail, we are going to prime the nail with the primer. And then the primer also helps to prevent lifting to the nail, which is absolutely amazing. All right, so this is where the real deal begins. So you're going to start dipping that brush into the jar of gel okay and you want that bead to go on one side of your brush and you're just going to swirl it around so that it stays on that one side and you see it's a very small amount we're not going crazy big or anything because it's just the first layer and we're gonna just roll it off the brush okay we're rolling it off the brush and we want it to look just like that on the nail and then we're gonna slowly push it into the cuticle area okay we're not going too far into the cuticle area we just want to lightly push we're not pushing into the gel like too crazy or anything it's like a light feather touch we're just swerving it around to the cuticle so that it can actually level out nicely and then we're gonna brush it down but we're not pushing hard while we're brushing it down. It's very just lightly and we can drag it around. Gel is very easy to work with, okay? And don't forget to actually coat your sides because this is exactly where lifting can occur. And then you cap your free edge with the gel, okay? And then it will level out on its own. So right after that, 
you're gonna cure it for even just a few seconds it doesn't matter it doesn't need to be cured for a whole two minutes because we're just showing you one nail but you guys will be working with one nail at a time alternating between the nails one by one from one hand to the other if your client has any sort of sensitivity make sure to lightly put her hand into the light and come back out of the light because we don't want her to feel any sort of stinging so we want to take our time when going into that UV light or LED light. Alright so now you're gonna grab a larger bead to place it onto the nail and as you can see I didn't go too excessive I just made sure that I had a good size bead for her actual nail and we're gonna brush it onto the nail exactly the same way that we did the first time right and then now we're gonna push the gel towards the cuticle area going slowly towards the cuticle area exactly what we did the first time and then as we're going to be pushing towards the cuticle area now we're going to be bringing the gel side to side okay and while we're doing it side to side we're actually bringing the gel down but it's going to flow on its own and it's going to create that apex on its own so that you don't actually have to create that apex if you get what i'm saying and then do not forget to check the side of the nail and also to cap the sides with the gel and also to cap your free edge okay and right after that we're gonna get her to cure again so now we are going to spray the nail with 99% alcohol and wet the nail right and right after that you want to just touch the nail to make sure that is nice and soft there shouldn't be any bumps anywhere soap on the nail it should be nice and smooth and now I'm gonna go in with me fine card by bit I want to go with the fine one because gel has a lot of dust when you're working with it you see and first you're gonna go around that cuticle area very softly you don't have to go hard pan the gel it's a very soft soft flexible product so you just have to go very softly with the carbide bit you can make the speed a little bit higher but you don't need to go too high it will do its work on its own and you see here I started to bring it towards me and I also go back around the cuticle area and I touch the work and I definitely check to see if the nail is soft okay you have to go back and check for your work some people don't touch the nail to know if it's working for them or not so it's very very important that you go back on the nail with your finger and you check to see if your work is good you understand so now the nail is fine and it's ready and you see don't be afraid go around that cuticle area bring the carbide bit towards you to soften the bumps if you have any bumps go side to side to smooth it out you see what we mean and then go back around the critical area if necessary and then you keep touching your work to make sure that is exactly how you want it and when you're using your card by bit this is what's gonna help you right for no lifting the primer does the same thing for no lifting but your work with the carbide bit definitely matters you understand so don't be afraid to take your time when doing this and now the nail should be ready so now we're gonna dust the nail and we're going to go in with our nail file and just file it to make sure that the shape is still okay after doing card by bit and also do not be afraid to use 
use your 100 or 180 grit on top of the actual gel to smooth it out a little bit more. It's nice to have those nice smooth surfaces when you're dealing with gel. Even if it was acrylic, it's the same concept, right? And then right after that, smoothing it out with your nail file, we're going to use our buffer. And then the buffer is going to smooth it out quite nicely even more. And then right after the buffer, we're going to dust the nail again. And then right after dusting the nail, you can also ask your client to wash their hands. Or you can actually spray the nail with 99% alcohol and then wipe the nail. And now your nail is ready for your polish. So I just want to say how I definitely love this color right here, right? It's a nice sparkly color. And we're going to just apply that first coat first and cap that free edge again yeah and then we gonna cure that polish in the lamp how beautiful and then we got that second coat we just gonna apply that how beautiful it's just gonna look so nice on that gel overlay wow so beautiful and we're gonna cure that and now we're gonna put that top coat and then the top coat just makes it so much nicer you know nice and shiny and glossy and it's just so beautiful to see and then we're gonna cure that and then right after that we're gonna spray the nail with 99% alcohol after the curing and then right after that, we're gonna apply our cuticle oil. Oh, it's so beautiful. The nail is prepped, it's ready, and it's just like the other finger. You see that, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.